Hello, everybody. If you'd like to schedule in with me in time for eclipse season of late May and mid-June, you can do so through the link to my services page, which you will find above. I also have an online academy. You can find a link to the Pulse of the Universe Academy of Vedic Astrology right here. So if you found yourself in a position where no matter how much effort you put in, no matter how strongly you went at a particular problem, no matter how much of your effort you put towards your goal, you were going to come up short, would you still pursue that effort? Would you still try to tackle that problem? Or would you give up altogether, right? Sometimes it's not a matter of succeeding or failing at something. Sometimes it's much more a matter of discovering your potential, uh, knowing yourself, understanding where you're at with something, and going through a trial in order to find those specific things. Now, I know you're probably reading in a lot to what I'm saying, and you're going, oh no, he's going to tell me that I'm going to fail at this, or he's telling me that I'm going to succeed with this. No, what I'm going to tell you at this particular moment is to try to look beyond the concept of good or bad results, success or failure. Uh, and look instead purely to what feels right and appropriate to your soul. Know where you're at in relevance to a particular situation, whether that situation be a problem that you're trying to solve or a goal that you're trying to achieve. Somewhere at the present moment, you're confronting an obstacle. And there's one part of you that's going, well, I just have to kind of accept a difficult truth. I have to recognize that I'm not good enough to achieve this. I have to kind of adapt to the fact that things are not going to work out my way. And so rather than, you know, kind of feel humiliated by what life is putting in my face, instead, I'm just going to run away from it altogether. Maybe I'll go hide in the woods and uh, go bury myself in a hole so I don't have to cope with this. Wrong. That's not the thing to do at the present moment. So that thing that you're looking at or that you're fearing that you're going to fail at, Go beyond the concept of whether you're going to fail at it. Go straight to the heart of finding the strength within you to confront it, right? Knowing inside of yourself, if this is something that you really want, or if it's something that you don't want at all, knowing if this is something that you feel you want to put your energy towards approaching and trying to tackle, or something that you're going, you know what? This really isn't worth my effort. So don't give up sheerly because you think it's not going to work in your favor. If you're going to turn and walk the other direction, do so because you know that it's right for you to do so. But if in your heart you're convinced this is precisely what I need to do, this is exactly where I need to be. This is the right thing. This is something that I want for myself or something that I want for those that I care about. If those things you know to be true, then why are you questioning? And why indeed are you fearing? Because at the end of the day, it's not about whether you win or lose. And I'm not going to go into that sappy thing of how you play the game. It's not about succeeding or failing. It's not about good or bad results. It's not about achievements and accolades. It's just about doing what's right for your soul and those souls that you're connected to. Place yourself in that space. Don't think that you have to 
accept something that is not worthwhile, right? Sure, it may happen. It may work that way naturally. It may be that you don't achieve your goal. It may be that you can't solve this problem. But at the root of it, you'll know that you did what was right in your heart. And from that space, there is no failure and only success. And if you could use a little bit of help getting into that space, or with anything else, I do offer several different levels of astrological service. These are available through the astrological services page of my website. If you want to schedule with me, you can do that through the link you'll see above. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Kritika Nakshatra of the 11th of May, 2021. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.